Welcome to my channel I aim to upload these news top 10 summaries daily. Links to all articles in the description if one grabs your attention. From The Guardian under the main headline of Ukraine-Russia war latest. Kyiv struck by shelling. Zelensky to address US Congress a Euro, live. Summary of headline article. 607 Ukrainian President. Volodymyr Zelensky. Will deliver a virtual address to the US Congress on Wednesday. The latest in a series of speeches to Western leaders is he works to galvanize support for his besieged nation. Zelensky is expected to call on the U.S. once again to close the skies over Ukraine. He is also likely to press to be supplied with fighter jets by NATO allies that Ukrainian pilots can fly up against Russian air forces and steeper economic sanctions in the face of an advancing Russian assault. The Biden administration also rejected an offer from Poland to turn over its Soviet-era fighter jets to Ukraine, which had been made only if the U.S. and NATO facilitated the transfer. Administration officials argued the move could be seen as escalatory by Moscow. From Mail Online under the main headline of 20,000 evacuees flee hell of Mariupol in humanitarian corridors. Summary of headline article. However, many others remarkably ended up in Russia after traveling east via the Kremlin's humanitarian corridor to the Rostov region. Among those fleeing Mariupol on buses traveling to the Rostov region in Russia on Tuesday were mainly elderly people. Timoshenko said that the evacuees left Mariupol in an estimated 4,000 private vehicles via the route on Tuesday, adding that 570 of the cars had reached Zaforizhzhia. A first group of 160 cars left Mariupol on Monday. The city council said, some 3,381 people have so far left Ukraine. Data from the UN. From iNews under the main headline of Boris Johnson has proved that the West kowtows to tyrants. When eat a euro s convenient. Summary of headline article. You can just imagine the conversation in Riyadh as Boris Johnson hauls Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed. Bin Salman over the coals ahead of some dignified pleading. Now. However with an oil shock threatening Western capitals. The shoe is on the other foot. Last year the Crown Prince texted Johnson personally to ask him to correct the Premier League's decision not to allow a £300 million takeover of Newcastle United by a Saudi-led sportswashing consortium. Venezuela. Saudi Arabia. UAE are all regimes with morals no better or possibly worse, than that of Putin's. As the West tries to stop the horrors in Ukraine, it has to turn a blind eye to awful things elsewhere. From Daily Star under the main headline of Schoolgirl given traumatic strip search by Metwile. She was on her period. Summary of headline article. Officers from the Metropolitan Police Strip searched a black schoolgirl despite her being on her period. According to a new safeguarding report, the traumatic incident took place at the 15-year-old school in Hackney, London. Without another adult present, local child safeguarding practice review concluded that racism, likely, was a contributing factor to the unjustified incident, which took place at the end of 2020. After the Met offices found no drugs child Q was sent home where she told her mum about the ordeal. Detective Superintendent Dan Rutland said. We recognize that the findings of the safeguarding review reflect this incident should never have. Happened. From Mail Online under the main headline of Russian journalist could still face jailer after anti-war. Protest on TV. Summary of headline article. 
a Russian journalist who hijacked primetime TV news to denounce the war in Ukraine walked free from court last night, but could still face up to 15 years behind bars. Miss Ofsyanikova could still be slapped with the more serious new criminal charge brought into stamp out fake news about Russia's invasion. And this necklace on my neck is a symbol of the fact Russia must immediately stop the fratricidal war. I want to thank everyone for their support, Miss Ofsyanikova said. Adding that she was too exhausted to answer any more questions and needed to rest before she could reveal more. Before her TV career, Miss Ofsyanikova was a competitive swimmer who crossed the Volga River in Russia and the Bosphorus waterway in Turkey. From Mail Online under the main headline of Ukrainian mother and daughter. 7. Among first to find home in Britain. Summary of headline article. On Monday the mother and daughter flew on to Bristol having secured one of the first UK family. Visas issued for Ukrainian refugees since the war began. Already Marks and Spencer. ASOS and Lush have said they want to take part in the drive to help Ukrainian refugees. Meanwhile in Portugal. A British couple are hosting a Ukrainian family fleeing the war in their home near Porto. 21 cancer-stricken Ukrainian children begin life-saving NHS therapy 21 Ukrainian children with cancer have begun NHS treatment after being rescued from the war-torn region over the weekend. Ukrainian refugees crowd into support points at Kraków train station in Poland on March 14 who can be a guest. From BBC under the main headline of Nazanin Zaghari Ratcliffe has UK passport returned. MP says. Summary of headline article. Mrs. Zaghari Ratcliffe's sister-in-law Rebecca Ratcliffe told BBC Radio 5 Live there had been so many false hopes over the last five or six years so it was hard to tell if this is a really positive sign or just the Iranian government playing games again. From BBC under the main headline of Ukraine war. European leaders risk train ride to meet Zelensky. Summary of headline article. Mr. Zelensky said Ukrainians now understood they could not join NATO. We have heard for years that the doors were open. But we also heard that we could not join. It's a truth and it must be recognized. I am glad that our people are beginning to understand this and rely on themselves and our partners. Who help us? From Evening Standard under the main headline of Fox News cameraman Pierre Zakazuski killed in Ukraine. Summary of headline article. Air Fox News cameraman Pierre Zakazuski has been killed in Ukraine in the same attack that injured the network's correspondent Benjamin Hall. In a statement, Fox News CEO Suzanne Scott confirmed the cameraman's death just days after Brett Renault became the first journalist to die during the conflict. It read, It is with great sadness and a heavy heart that we share the news this morning regarding our beloved cameraman Pierre Zakazuski. Pierre was killed in Horenka, outside of Kiev, Ukraine. Based in London, Pierre had been working in Ukraine since February. Mr. Hall. 39. Was injured and remains hospitalized. From BBC under the main headline of the Western brands unable to leave Russia. Summary of headline article. A lot of Western firms have held such agreements for decades. For example, Marks and Spencer stores have been operated by a Turkish company called FIBA. Which has held the rights to sell the retailers products across Eastern Europe. Since 1999, the retail giant has said it has suspended shipments of its goods to FIBA in response to the war. Many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get your daily notifications. Have a great day. Thank you for your support. Goodbye.